let's go ahead and create our custom bio link. So after you have your template, let's go ahead and grab our image um, that we want our audience to see as soon as they click on our link. I am going to go ahead and crop mine to get the exact look. Now let's go ahead, grab our text, and I'm gonna change the font, and mine is just going to say my first and last name, Tashika McKinney. I'm gonna go ahead and resize this here. Now I'm going to add um, a subheading, and this is where I'm just gonna share what I mainly do. I'm an educator and I'm also an entrepreneur. Again, I'm going to go ahead, switch the size and the font. I'm gonna drag that where I need it. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that and go ahead and add, add my social media handles, which is at Taishika McKinney. And I am gonna go ahead and change that font to white. So here is our fun part. Let's go ahead and go to elements and we are going to drag in a line. That's right. We just want a plain line and we are going to resize that line weight to 96. And I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this so I can go ahead and have a whole lot ready. You can change um, the colors after you do this step. Now that we have our colors, let's go ahead and add another text box. Um, be sure to change your font. And we're gonna go ahead and name the titles um, of each of these buttons here. So I recommend that you have the same size and the same font for each button. <music> So let's go ahead and select elements and we're going to add all of our social media logos. Um, here I am doing the same thing as I do in all of my other videos. I am just going to drop all of them in. Then I am going to resize them and change the color last. So in this segment, I am gonna go ahead and start hyperlinking the buttons. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm really just hyperlinking everything, instagram.com forward slash Tashika McKinney. However, every one of my buttons is gonna have a particular site that I'm gonna hyperlink it to. 
Um, feel free to go to any of my social media platforms, click the link in my bio so you can see how mine look. Again, for this tutorial, I am just putting everything as Tashik McKinney Instagram. Alright, so our very last step is we do want to go ahead and publish it as a website. Um, when you select this button here, you want to make sure that your web style is scrolling. And then we're going to open the website. Takes a little while to load. Okay, there we go. So if we were to click any of um, these links here, this is my actual one, it'll take you right to those links. So for example, if it's create your own gifts, when my audience selects that, it'll take them to my YouTube channel where I show them how to create it. So one thing, um, just an additional tip, is if you don't wanna use this long URL in your bio, you can go ahead, copy it, go to bit.ly.com, I'm going to select create and I'm going to paste that long link there and notice that it already popped up because um, I've already customized it but you will be able to customize the back half so if you go into my social media platforms you'll notice that it has bit.ly forward slash McKinney bio link so this is what I use here instead of this long link and I can show you what I mean here okay so here is my instagram page and notice that again my bio link is here bit.ly forward slash mckinney bio link instead of this long canva link all right